Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Uh, it is so good to be back. It seems like it's been a long time since I've been on YouTube. It's only been a week, but uh, um, I, I think it's because I was just so busy and so much was going on. You know, I kept my grandkids all day long and then I would leave and go to work and then pretty much come home and then just fall into bed, you know, take a shower, fall into bed. And uh, so I, it just seems like a lot of time has passed. There were several things that I wanted to talk about and I made a list this morning and darn it if I can't find my list now. Uh, you know, I just lose everything and I have looked, I've gone downstairs, I've gone upstairs and I have no idea where it is. So. Um, I'll try to remember everything I wanted to talk about. The reason I kept my grandkids is uh, my daughter and son-in-law were uh, doing a um, theater camp for ages, for, for teens, you know, like through the junior high, high school age from 13 on, 12 to 13 on up. And, uh, you know, it was, it was just a big success on Friday night. They presented their show to all the parents and everybody in town, and it was just such a, it was just such a big hit. And you know, I have to say, the little town that I live in, I looked at the population, it's 13,500, so it is not a big town at all. But we just really have so much to offer. It, it seems like we have a wonderful arts council. Uh, they have a little shop there. I went to the shop where they just have like homemade jewelry and homemade crafts and stuff like that. That is just so, you know, so really good and so talented. I think I'm gonna buy some of the, the um, earrings and the necklaces, well, rings, everything. They're just, it's just really, really good. And we have a great, big, wonderful museum that showcases um, all the, the county, you know, through the, through the ages and how it came to be and uh, lots of families have contributed to it so it's just it's just a neat little town and it's been a, it was a good town to raise my kids in and now my grandkids being raised in it and for such a small town they've got a lot going on but anyway uh, so the play was written by my son-in-law and my friend Pam hi Pammy uh, she wrote all the music and uh, so they presented it on, on Friday night and it was just so good and just so professional. I could not believe how good it was and I was so proud. I mean, it was just almost like good enough to take on the road. Uh, we have so many talented teenagers for just such a small town and I, I was just real proud. I mean, I, I had a real big moment of being proud to be in the little town that I live in. It was just lots of fun and it was just so worth it to keep the grandkids for two weeks. For my daughter to have this opportunity and my son-in-law to have this opportunity. Uh, they are actors by trade and by education and they moved from the west coast here to this little town and my son-in-law started working for my husband and my daughter is a stay-at-home mom so this is their chance to uh, get out and uh, be able to do something fun again and to share what they have learned over the years. So uh, it was it was just a lot of fun to do and to realize that, you know, I helped to a little bit by keeping the kids for that to come about for her to be able to do that. So anyway, uh, I have noticed all over YouTube that everybody is showing their hauls from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I have really enjoyed them so much. Everybody's gotten so many wonderful things. Um, I, did not shop or get anything or I'm not getting anything but I did want to talk about a few tops that I have gotten recently a couple of people have asked me details about the off-the-shoulder tops that I wear I think that I'm probably the off-the-shoulder queen because I just wear them so much I think it's because I have shared before that the the shoulders and I think the shoulders and the collarbones of a woman are just really really pretty and attractive features so I think it's nice to show them off uh, Luckily, I have been able to find some this year because they seem to be rather popular. I've worn them, I guess, since Flashdance, <laughs> you know, when I saw them in Flashdance. So I've worn them through the, 
through the ages. Uh, this is this wearing them this year is nothing new for me. I have worn them in the in the a lot of the tops that I have knitted. I finally started knitting a bunch of them because I couldn't buy them. I couldn't find them to buy, so I would just make them myself. But uh, I got lucky this year and last year and found some cute off-the-shoulder tops that I really liked. So I thought I would share uh, a couple of them today. And <clears throat> where I got them was from Amazon, and they were a good price. Now I have uh, a lot of the tops that I have gotten in the past have been from ASOS or H&M, but mainly from ASOS. The problem that I have had with them is that even with the talls, I have not been able to find them that come down long enough. So I started searching around, I'm, I'm very tall, and so I, I started searching around for some that would come down long enough that wouldn't, you know, end up showing a little bit of my stomach or something because, um, I mean, they have to come down really lo long to be able to cover everything. So uh, I searched on Amazon and I found a brand that I really, really liked a lot, so I thought I would talk about them. It's Patty Boutique, and I guess Boutique is how you say the last part of it. It's B-O-U-T-I-K. I couldn't find, I did a search to try to find a proper pronunciation, but I couldn't find one. But it's P-A-T-T-Y, B-O-U-T-I-K. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some pictures or film a little bit of the Amazon page where I found, found some of these so that you can do some research and find some of the different styles that she makes and that the company makes and uh, find some for yourself that you might like if you're interested. So I got all these from Amazon and the first one is this one and, and I'll show a picture of where you can find it on Amazon and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the first one. It is the Patty Boutique Women's Off Shoulder Elbow Sleeve Top. And the color I have is dark olive green. And I got a size medium and it seems to, you know, be true, true fit. It's a very, you know, stretchy, slim fitting material. And it stays, stays down nicely and it comes down. I just really love the length. And it's got gathering here on the side. So this is the dark olive green one. Here it is in the color Moderate Azure. I wore this in a video the other day, just the exact same top, just in a different color. And they have sort of a coral one, a black one, the dark green one, and then this blue one. And a lot of people have asked me about, uh, about bras, you know, what bras that I wear with off the shoulder top. I do usually buy the ones from Victoria's Secret. I think they're called the, uh, maybe the date night, they're uh, multi-way multi where you can do them all around. But honestly, I tell you what I do, I'm going to sit down, but honestly, I tell you what I do most of the time is I just pull my straps down. So my straps are just like right here, right off the shoulder. And, uh, I, you know, it takes you a, a little bit. Well, it didn't really take me long to get used to it. I just, I usually just keep them down there and they, that way it doesn't fall down and um, it just kind of keeps everything in place. But I just do the, I just do the straps down here. Anyway, I just do the straps off the shoulder like that. It's just the easiest way for me to do. And it kind of keeps the bra put, stay put. Okay, the next one is the Patty Boutique Women's Halter Turtleneck Open Back Blouse. Really like it because it's cut out through here, but it's got the, you know, the, the mock turtleneck. And then the back is just nice and cool and summery, especially for all this hot weather. And you could wear this with jeans or uh, a skirt. Dress it up or down. I like it a whole lot. And obviously, I don't have the straps on for this one. Just the, the one, you know, the strapless one that I got from Victoria's Secret. The color on this one is dark magenta, and it also comes in black. So this is very cool for the summertime. I really, I really like these tops a whole lot. 
because they come down long and they don't rot up, you know, and show my stomach. Okay, and this next one is called the Patty Boutique Women's Crew Neck Sleeveless Ribbed Knit Top. And I'll show the headings of all these. But uh, I got this one in navy blue and it comes in black. But another one of those that's cut up like this, but tie, you know, up on the neck. I just love, I love little tops like this. It's kind of a, uh, kind of a crew neck. So it comes around like this, but it's cut way up like that. So it kind of shows your shoulders off and it, you know, keeps you cool too. And just loving the length, but this one is ribbed. So it's got, you know, a little, little tiny, you can't see it because the color's so dark, but it's got little tiny ribs through it. So that is this one. And I'm just gonna keep this one on while I finish my video. So anyway, uh, those are just some tops that I've ordered because uh, a couple of people have asked me where I get my off-the-shoulder tops, and I used to get them at ASOS, but now I, I really like this Patty Boutique line. I really do. I found it. I did a search on Amazon for off-the-shoulder tops, and her that company came up, and I thought, oh, I like that because they come down long. Uh, and I just, I just can't stand tops that ride up. I like them to come down nice and long. It just drives me crazy. And also, I don't know, I, you know, so many of us shop at Amazon, and there, and there is something that I wanted to mention. It's the um, Amazon Small Program. Uh, it is their charity program, and what they will do, I will kind of read right here, it's a simple and automatic way for you to support your favorite charitable organization every time you shop at no cost to you. When you shop at smile.amazon.com, You'll find the exact same low prices, vast selection, and convenient shopping experience as Amazon.com. With the added bonus that Amazon will donate a portion, and I looked it up, it's 0.5% of the purchase of your of the perfect of the purchase price to your favorite charitable organization. You can choose from nearly one million organizations to support. What a wonderful thing that is. To be able to, uh, you know, you shop anyway. So to be able to have a portion of it go to your favorite charity, charity, uh, and it doesn't cost you anything, I just think is absolutely magnificent, and it's a wonderful thing that Amazon's doing, I, I believe. So um, the charity that I chose is the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America because that I have Crohn's disease, and have had it since I was young. So um, that every time I shop. 0.5% of my, I mean, it's not a lot, but every, you know, every little bit helps. Um, and if millions of people are doing it and, and, and uh, you know, having their, a portion of their purchases at no cost to you go into a, a charity, then, you know, these pennies add up. So if you are going to be shopping from Amazon anyway, I would encourage you to look up their Smile program. It's Smile S-M-I-L-E dot Amazon dot com. And I'm not sure if the other Amazon uh, countries have it too, but it would be worth looking into to see if they do. Uh, it's just, um, it's a way to give back when you shop, when you're taking in and shopping and so much, it's a way to, to give back um, to a, 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 a worthwhile organization. And like I said, there's millions of them that you can look at and find the organization that uh, that you like the best. I know my husband, Doug, chose one um, of helping wounded veterans. So everything that he shops and buys on Amazon goes toward helping to rehabilitate wounded veterans. Um, a lot of people choose animal um, organizations. Uh, I did the Crohn's because that is what I happen to have. So I would encourage you to look at the small program from Amazon. It is a worthwhile thing to do and it doesn't cost you anything. So anyway, that is my Sunday video. Tomorrow, Kristen and I, oh, I was gonna tell you one more thing. Kristen and I are meeting tomorrow and we're gonna film um, a video that I think we're gonna put up Wednesday. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to return my Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen. 
I just didn't care for it. I hate to say that, but I didn't. Um, I tried it out. The colors just weren't right for me at all. And um, they just they just weren't right for me. I'll just say that. <laughs> they just weren't right for me. So I'm going to return that. But I love the Modern Renaissance by uh, Anastasia. It's just, it's worn it, more, worn, used it, used it, used it, used it, used it to death since I have bought it. I think about every day I've used an Anastasia eyeshadow of some sort. But I really, really like this one on, this one a whole lot. And I've really already probably got my money's worth of it. But the Swamp Queen, not so much. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. And we are boiling here in the States. So I hope everybody stays cool. So thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.